Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Five Sunday Living heated shoe and boot dryer. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. Here's the manual. So on the front here, it says it's 200 watts. So here's a list of safeguards. You're going to want to read through those. And here's a product diagram. We have two brackets for the shoes. There's two air tubes. It's a top cover, timer knob, air inlet, base, LED indicator. Here's a chart for recommended drying times. So the highest time here is two hours for a washed boot. The shortest would be a wet shoe. So this would be like if you had a shoe and you stepped in a puddle and it got wet on the outside and you wanted to dry it off. So here are the operating instructions. You plug it in, you rotate the knob to the timer. So you have 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, or 180. To turn it off, you turn it to the off position. And here's some cleaning instructions. And this says, want to dry your boots more quickly. So if you only have one pair of boots to dry, you can take the bottom brackets off and put these caps on. It will direct all the air through the top. Let's unpack this. So I'm going to pull everything out and get the plastic off. I'll speed the video up here. Okay, so here's the base unit. The power cord's a little over five feet. So it has these caps. I'll take those off. So it has six of these tubes. They're made of plastic. It has these fins here. We'll put those towards the back. So we'll put all four on here. And then on the back, we'll stack some on top. So it's starting to get pretty big. Now we'll take the brackets and we'll put these on. They'll just slide in. And now we have the four positions for two pairs of boots or shoes. You can also dry gloves on here. We can just take this off and you can put your glove on there. Some gloves you might even be able to kind of hang over that. So I'll plug this in and I'll go get some boots and shoes. Okay, I have two pairs of shoes here. These are some boots. I'll put these on here. I'll just drape the laces over the top. Now I do want to say these are dry. but I can still demonstrate how these fit. So those fit on there nicely. Now you could actually put your dry shoes on here and warm them up. Now, one thing I would caution is that you don't get them really hot because it could make your feet sweat, which could then make your feet cold later. So when you warm them up, just warm them up a bit until you take the chill off of them. So let's turn this on. So this is just a timer, so it's not going to change the heat level, just how long it's on. So it seems to be like a mechanical timer. It has a fan in it. I'll turn my microphone towards it. So it's not silent. You probably wouldn't want this to be close to you, like say if you're trying to watch TV, but you could maybe put this in a corner on the other side of the room or in a different room. It's probably about the same sound level as maybe a fan on a medium or high mode, but it is a different pitch. So it's currently drawing around 230 watts. So I'm going to switch to my thermal camera so I can see how it's heating up these boots and shoes. So here we're looking at it through the thermal camera and you can see these top boots are starting to heat up. You can see the heat here and you can see the bottoms of these shoes are starting to heat up and you can see the base here is really getting warm. So it's around 100 degrees. So it's sucking the air in here and it's transporting it up to the shoes. So I'll let this run for a few minutes and then I'll check it again. Okay, it's a few minutes later and you can see here, it's heating up the shoes. Okay, so you saw with the thermal camera it was heating these up. Now you wouldn't expect these to be hundreds of degrees. You really don't want to dry things off quickly like that. It can damage your shoes or boots. The way the heat dryer works is it takes that hot air, puts it in here, that heats up the water, then the water breaks free, evaporates, and the air drives it out. So I'm gonna take these off. And they're nice and warm inside. Those would feel comfortable to throw on. And I have some other items here. Here are some large mittens. Those I could really throw on just like that. So here's a kid's glove. Let's see if that fits over the bracket. Yeah, that fits on there nicely. So this is what we're gonna be drying a lot of with this, is kids' gloves. Our adult gloves tend to stay drier. Let's try a kid's boot. And that fits on there very nicely. So we also have these caps. So you can put those on the towers there, on any of these you're not using. 
So that will increase the airflow to the top towers. One thing I find useful about boot and shoe dryers is that they can be good for removing odors. So if you have some stinky shoes or boots, you can put them on here and the heat will dry them out and it will help get rid of some of that smell. So I find typically to deodorize something, you'd want to leave it on there for a longer amount of time. But I had some old stinky sneakers once and I put them on a boot dryer and when they came off, they didn't have any smell at all. So it's something to try before you throw boots or shoes away. Okay, so I wanted to do a test with actual wet articles. So I filled the boot and the glove both with water and dumped it out. So that would be similar to washing. Typically the washer would spin the water out though, and I squeeze these as best I could, but they're very soaked. So I put this on, I set it to the two hour mark, and I'll come back and check it later. Okay, it's been about an hour, and this glove is starting to dry out here on the tips. It's still wet here. When I reached inside of the boot, I could feel it was getting dry near the tip here, and then it's wettest kind of down here. And that's probably because there's probably water that's draining out through the fabric liner down to here. So I'll come back later and check it again. Okay, it's a few minutes till the two hour mark. The glove is still a little damp inside and same with the boot. They're both just a little damp, but they're mostly dry. So I'm guessing they'll need about another half hour to dry. I'll probably just give it a full another hour just to be sure. But being how soaked these were, I think if you wash them in the washing machine and it spun the water out, these would have been dry by now. Certainly if my kid was out playing in the snow and we put them on here, they would definitely be dry. Okay, it's been another half hour. So we're at two and a half hours total. The glove and the boot are both dry on the inside. The boot still has a little bit of moisture here on the outside. So I'm going to let this finish out the hour. So we'll be at three hours total to dry these. So what I wanted to do here is kind of a worst case scenario where these were just soaked. And I think it performed very well. But I think this is going to work very well for when my kid gets home from school. He can throw his wet boots and gloves on here, get this thing going, they'll be dry for the next day. So I did have this hooked up to a power meter and it used 0.6 kilowatt hours. So you can multiply that times what you pay for electricity to figure out how much this would have cost. This will also tell me how much it costs. It says five cents, and this is set up for nine cents per kilowatt hour. So as you can see, it's very cheap to operate. Another thing to consider is that I'm doing this in the winter time inside. So the heat from this is just going into the house and it's contributing to the heat in the house. So I'm not actually losing it. And it also is humidifying the air, which is welcome. So that's the five Sunday living heated shoe and boot dryer. I really like the design of this with the two tiers for drying two pairs of boots or shoes. We do currently have a boot dryer, but it only has two towers on it and it also does not have any fan. So it takes a really long time to dry boots. So this is going to be very helpful because like I said earlier, we're going to be drying our kids stuff on this mostly. He'll come home from school. He'll have wet boots. He'll have wet gloves. We can put the wet boots and gloves on here and get them dried for the next day. With our previous boot dryer, we'd have to put the boots on, take them off. They might not even be completely dry yet because it, like I said, didn't have a fan. Then we'd have to put the gloves on there and get the gloves dry. And then maybe we'll throw the boots back on. It was a hassle. This is going to be so much easier to use, so much nicer. If there is any downside to this, it does make a little bit of noise, but that's not a big problem for us. We can put it in our basement. If you look in a small apartment and the noise would bother you, that may be something to consider. But I would guess most people would be fine with it. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.